Here are five reasons why you absolutely need to be using Apple Motion, especially if you're a Final Cut user. Firstly comes the powerful animation tools. One of my largest frustrations with Final Cut Pro is the lack of animation capabilities. But Motion has everything you could possibly need when it comes to animation. Whether it's using the keyframe editor, which can provide you with infinite animation possibilities, or the parameter behaviors, that can even automatically animate an object based off of an audio file that you import. The second big reason you need to be using Apple Motion is that it has way more tools and effects than what is found in Final Cut Pro. For example, if we take a look at sharpening, you will notice that we have our basic sharpening tool, which is also found in Final Cut Pro, but we also have access to the Unsharp Mask, which in my opinion is a far superior sharpening tool because it provides a granularity to your sharpening that you just don't have with the other sharpening tool. Or if we take a look at an effect that is already inside of Final Cut Pro, like the bad TV effect, you'll notice that the motion version has far more controls to dial in the effect as you like. The third reason you absolutely need to be using Apple Motion is that it has better motion tracking. While Final Cut Pro does have the object tracker, you can't really use the object tracker to apply an effect, say for example, the bulge filter. But in motion, we could track the bulge filter onto someone's eyes, or we could track somebody's head and apply that position onto a 3D camera, which will then match someone's head movements, giving you that Beats by Dre locked on effect. Or if you need to, you can choose the point tracker. The point tracker is great for stuff like screen replacements because you can do a four corner pin track, which will lock your object onto the screen. The fourth reason you should absolutely be using Apple Motion is that you can create and design your own templates and plugins for Final Cut Pro. That means that if there's a lower third that you need to create for your channel, for example, and you need to use that lower third over and over again, rather than rebuilding it every single time inside of Final Cut Pro, you could just go inside of Motion, build it once, and then once it's built, you can reuse that exact same lower third in all of your future projects. But it's not just limited to stuff like lower thirds and logo animations. Motion is also extremely capable at designing powerful plugins. Every single one of the plugins I've created and sold for my channel has been designed inside of Motion, and it hasn't required a single line of code. And that means that if I could build it, then you can too. And the fifth reason you should be using Apple Motion goes perfectly in tandem with reason number four. Pretty much any template that you've purchased or download for Final Cut Pro can be right clicked on and you can select to open it in Motion. Once you've done that, you can go in and make all of the possible changes you could want for that template so that you can save it as your own customized preset that you can use over and over again in Final Cut Pro. And a special pro tip is that you could save it into its own category. So for example, I've created a category called star faves and that star places the faves folder at the very top of the list. So I now have a favorites category for Final Cut Pro that I can easily access. So if you're interested in starting out in Apple Motion, I strongly suggest that you check out this video where I showed the basics of creating a template inside of Apple Motion in just 12 minutes. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.